Syrian rebels and government troops battled Wednesday in the Golan Heights, where the Al-Qaeda-linked Nusra Front abducted Fijian UN peacekeepers last week. According to Fijian officials on Tuesday, the group holding the 45 peacekeepers hostage have issued a set of demands for their release, including removal of the extremist group from the UN terrorist list, delivery of humanitarian aid to Damascus, and compensation for the killing of three of its fighters in a shootout with international troops. So now the negotiation has uh, moved up another level uh, with the professional negotiations from uh, New York now in place to take over the negotiations. We've also been assured uh, by UN headquarters uh, that the UN will uh, bring all its resources to bear to ensure the safe return of our soldiers. Last Wednesday, Syrian rebels, including Nusra Front militants, seized a border crossing with Israel on the Syrian side of the Golan Heights, where the 1,200-strong UN Disengagement Observer Force monitors the buffer zone between Syria and Israel. Israel has avoided taking sides in the three-year civil war in Syria, but blames the Syrian government for any cross-border fire. So far, the, the Israeli policy was not to interfere in what's going on in Syria, and you know why? Because in Syria, there are not good guys and bad guys. There are bad guys, very bad guys, extremely bad guys, etc. The latest incident poses a risk to the UN force in the area. Some countries are threatening to pull out from fears of being targeted by the Al-Qaeda-linked group. The issue with Fijians uh, will only speed up the uh, collapse of the force of Endorf. And I think in this question, why should I send forces to Endorf if I know that they might be uh, taken uh, hostages by Al-Qaeda. The rebels also surrounded two Filipino peacekeeping units, but those troops escaped over the weekend. Matthew Burgoyne, Associated Press.